Hey guys, Assassin Parks here, and I just got done with the second beta testing for Defiance 2050. Uh, it was pretty fun, the graphics are a lot better than the first one. The biggest issue right off the bat you could see is you are given the same old game, just redone, retextured, uh, new classes, new guns, that type of stuff. Um, so a lot of you guys that were expecting a new game, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that's just not what this is. Okay, so right away in this tutorial section, you could see me shooting up all these dudes, and that's that changed. It, that was a big change in the tutorial at the end of it. Instead of just blowing up this little area, you have to kill 75 mutants. I don't know if that was just for testing or if um, that was a new change, but it was a little difficult, honestly. Um, luckily, Cass is invulnerable, so they mostly focus her if you stay in the back and you just shoot them here. Um, one of the bugs was they didn't give you grenades in the tutorial, uh, and they tell you use your grenades, but you don't have any. You, you get them later from loot drops, so they are in the game. Um, the class system, uh, in the first section of this video, I could actually move it up to here um, since I'm editing it, but the class system basically is everybody starts as a soldier, like an assault guy, and that's it. If you want to unlock the other classes, you actually have to pay real money for. Um, a lot of people are upset with that. Also, uh, they have a program now if you go into Defiance and you start playing it, you unlock title system and it turns into the form of currency and can be transferred over to 2050. Uh, people are confused about that. I'm, I'm one of them. I'm not sure how that works or what, what titles what. But anyways, uh, people are also upset that they're not going to be able to carry over their like legendary or gold packages or all the packages that they spent real money on in the old game. It's, they feel very duped since it's basically the same game, just new textures. So they want their stuff transferred over. Also, I believe the company is looking into that. They haven't given a definitive yes or no. I know the original answer was nothing was going to be transferred over except for this form of currency that I just spoke about earlier that everybody's confused about. Um, let's see. What else about this game? Well, obviously it was beta, so there was a lot of people online, a lot of people at Art Falls doing missions. Um, one of the things that was confusing to me, though, was some of the areas when you're doing it, like the tutorial and other small areas, it seemed like um, you were doing it by yourself. It was weird. It was almost like you were in a different little shard area, but as soon as you completed the mission, then you see other people around you. Um, and then other areas you see people all around you. It was very confusing. I don't know if the server was just having these, um, issues. Uh, they were saying, a lot of people were talking about in the game saying that the server wasn't running at full capacity. Um, that made sense because some quests, they just weren't working correctly towards the end. Um, because what actually, what they did was they didn't give you every single quest that the Defiance 1 has. They actually put a stop to it about 10%, 15% down the road. So a lot of people, day two in, in the beta, they were like, well, what what do I do now? I was saying just do Arc Falls because there's no PvP, no shop. Um, but this video isn't about all that. is isn't really about the beta, even though I keep talking about it because that's what I witnessed. Um, it's basically about what to expect in 2050, uh, the game. And... What I'm seeing is it's a lot better graphics, so it's going to be much more, as a, as a newer streamer, I like the better graphics because, not for me personally, I care less about graphics, but the viewers, they love, they love better graphic games to watch. Who wants to watch an old, gritty graphic game, right? Um, Defiance uh, 2050 is the same as the first Defiance, so there's always non-stop action, so easy to stream. Um... There are viewers that were popping in. A lot of them didn't say anything, but there was a handful that did say stuff. So I got a few new followers just 
doing the beta weekend. So it was pretty cool. Uh, I am happy that you know it's they're re-energizing this game. I like I like the TV show. I like the game concepts. But this is a game that you kind of have to play with friends. So here's one of the big changes in 2050. There's a lot more monsters in each spawn. Uh, seems like there's also they're all harder. Um, you're gonna get KO'd a lot in this game. They're all gonna sink a, a, an attack on you. The hardest uh, mobs for me to fight were the flying um, bugs that shot the little uh, tar balls. They would all throw them at the same time at you, and you'd basically instant die. Also, the little uh, armored um, red bull guys, they would all, they'd put their red laser sights on you with their sniper rifles and they'd instant kill you. Um, then we got, uh, the shield guys, the little bandits, they, uh, they were just a lot harder to take down instead of the one hit shots. I had to shoot them like three, four times sometimes. It was very weird. Some, sometimes you'd shoot them twice, one to take down their shields another to kill them um, obviously headshots right and I'll get into that also but sometimes you get like six headshots in a row and they're still alive it was very weird I didn't understand what was going on with that um, the enhancements in this game is a little different so instead of actually having a tab for upgrading your weapons you actually have to like click on your item that you want to upgrade then right click on it uh, to, to enhance it to upgrade the level if you want to add mods you can um, click on the item and in the bottom right corner you could click the little enhance tab and that take you to the mod section I'm, I'm wondering if they'll change that if that was just for beta um, but it was a little confusing at first players weren't understanding how to put the mods in because they're overlooking that but really all it took was someone to actually look in detail at the menu uh, back to the classes the this assault class the soldier class was fun um but you know the sprint is cool to get out of situations fast but it really didn't help you a whole lot uh i i hope he, they have something where they can make you a little more tanky with this class since it's so it's such a harder game um versus the pve monsters because they just hit so much harder there's a lot more of them um, you go to the spawns, and they seem like they're never, never ending. And because there were so many people playing in beta, you'd be halfway through a mission, or just about to finish, and what happens? A guy comes in, or two guys come in, and they reset the spawn. And now you're having to kill all those, all those monsters all over again. Obviously, you have help of the two guys, but it just gets very, very annoying. Um, I was finding myself bickering at the, the hell bugs, because they were like never ending also at the um, the rebels and then the sniper guys I said were hard earlier um, they were just very very hard mobs I just did not enjoy the game when I was fighting them it was just non-stop um, these these arc fall events um, obviously there was a lot of people to go and help you with them since it was beta a lot of people testing it but it my my concern is when the game comes out and if you're playing at a time when not a lot of people are on uh it's going to be hard for you to solo them in defiance one you could solo them it takes a little longer you know but it it, it this game is just harder it just is um if you buy the classes other classes maybe the other classes will be better that's just time will tell we obviously couldn't do that because it was beta um they had the shops down uh, they had it very, it was all running on a, basically like a, a tutorial system, um, not tutorial, I'm sorry, uh, a demo, that, that's the correct word, it was like a demo game basically, but you were able to play with other people online, um, the community was all helpful, uh, there was a little couple people that were upset with my name because I had Twitch TV, Assassin Parks. They're like, why are you um, advertising in a game that we're all playing? But you know, I was, I'm new. I was just trying to get some followers. So I could see why they got upset with that. But you know, whatever. Got to do what you got to do. Um, one of the big differences is 
is headshots and weapons. Um, the damage output, a lot of the guns that they were dropping, they just weren't that good as the first Defiance. But also, like I said, the monsters were harder. So it was kind of like a double-edged sword, so to speak, right? So the, the guns seemed weaker. The monsters seemed harder. Uh, I wasn't getting a lot of good gun drops. It was just a little all over the place. Um, I was a little upset with the amount of drops I was getting. I was killing so many because I told you they upgraded the, a lot of the spawns. Um, so they were spawning a lot more. Obviously in the main quest lines they're the same as Defiance 1. So it's not extra mobs for those other than the tutorial. Uh, headshots. Let's get into headshots because I love playing with the sniper rifle and headshots. Headshots should kill people in at least two hits if you have the right gun. Also if you have it enhanced and modded out correctly. Uh, like I said the mobs were harder but one of the issues was with the sniper rifle if you take if you go into the settings menu with your mouse go under the mouse section and um, uncheck auto or aim assist aim assist I, I noticed I was getting a lot more headshots with the aim assist off but with the shotgun I was missing a lot of lot of shots after the first shot and then you you know you're clicking your mouse button to shoot the next the next rounds um, I was going over their head almost every time and it didn't matter if I would go like aim at their waist the next shot would still be over their head so if you're a shotgun player I really suggest you have aim assist on uh, maybe they'll tweak the settings I don't I was playing defiance uh, the first one a few days before the beta just to see what's gonna be changed and I didn't really notice that issue. Um, also, I didn't notice, you know, I was getting a lot of headshots in the in the Defiance um, with the basic settings, which I guess would be aim assist on. Uh, but in beta 2050, uh, Defiance 2050, I was getting a lot more headshots with aim assist off. Also, I feel like if you have aim assist off, you're just going to do better in other games as well. Um, cause you're not, you're doing yourself a disfavor if you have a game that's trying to help you aim. Uh, but the shotgun, you really need aim assist on or you're going to miss a lot, a lot of shots. So if you're going to go to an arc fall event and you're going to use a shoddy, um, go into the settings real quick, turn it on. I know it's a pain in the butt, but it's just something you got to do. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully they have a lot more beta events. I'll come back and recheck them. But that's all I really have to share. It's basically the same game, upgraded graphics, harder mobs, weaker guns, uh, one class game, but you have to buy the other three classes with real money and the whole transferring over your packages that you bought in Defiance 1 is um, on the it's on the table but you know it's nothing's for sure um my guess is is they may allow some things but other things no so bring your wallet if you want to have pretty skins um obviously you can unlock skins in the game you also get the better quad uh in the game just doing missions so missions is what you're gonna do all right so have fun guys and i hope to see you in 2050 Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. If you did not like it, do not hit the down arrow. Just go about your day. Um, if you want to watch me stream other games like Fortnite, go to twitch.tv assassinparks and hit the follow button. Alright guys, have a good one.